So our program continues on the 11th of July, a bright and sunny day. We're on our, the main road, Route 9, south of Plattsburgh, in front of Bill McBride Chevrolet's Subaru dealership. As we mentioned before, many people are honoring those local and area state and federal agencies, international agencies who helped in the search. And Brian McBride has uh, been jumping aboard to join people who've had blue ribbons and other ribbons on their property. People who've had dances and celebrations to honor those people who helped. And if you watched uh, television, perhaps you saw Brian's ad promoting this day, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, sunshiny Saturday, the various police agencies will be involved. There'll be some very nice music here today. There's even a bounce house. And notice how it's weighted down, Calvin. <laughs> but there have been incidents around the country where people didn't tie them down and they went flying through the air, which is not a very nice thing to do. So uh, there'll be a lot of fun. There'll be radio stations, television stations here. The various agencies are all not represented yet, but they will be. There'll be refreshments and music throughout the day. It's starting right at 10 o'clock, and here we are at 20 after 10 in the morning to uh, add to the commemoration, the celebration, and the thanks to the law enforcement agencies who helped. In the course of the program this morning, we hope to interview Brian and maybe a couple other people before we move on to continue our show. I don't know about you, Brian McBride, but I kind of worship the sunshine in oh, the summertime. This feels so good after last winter. I think uh, the snowbank in back has finally melted. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I saw a snowbank somewhere in some some one of our states on Facebook Boston. this morning. Was it? Well, Boston, Boston, Boston still has somewhere. a snowbank. Yeah. And out, <laughs> out west some areas still have a little snow in the mountains. So the heck with them. Yes. We're here in the beautiful summertime sunshine. What in the heck is going on here today? Well, uh, my staff and I got together uh, a couple weeks ago and after uh, all the turmoil of the two escaped inmates and all of the, the time that everybody's put in and sacrifices that our law enforcement and, and corrections officers and their families have made, we, we just wanted to do, we wanted to say thank you to, uh, to all of them for, for going above and beyond and and uh, keeping the community safe. So uh, we brainstormed a little bit and we, we just decided we wanted to create a venue where on, a, on one day we could uh, invite the community in, uh, invite the uh, law enforcement and corrections uh, people in to uh, get together, to uh, say hi with each other. And, and uh, I think a majority of us in the community as citizens uh, really appreciate everything that uh, Everything that was done, uh, the uh, the end result was that uh, no one got hurt, other than you know the the bad guys, and uh, uh, the community is safe, and uh, they really uh, everybody in the the enforcement community really showed their professionalism and expertise, and and we just we felt strongly we just wanted to say we wanted to say thank you. And you know, in all the years I've covered stories and been around in the North Country, and that is a lot of decades, Brian. How, how many? How many? <laughs> <laughs> well, 50, 54 years, I, as I'm <laughs> counting, from 1961 till now. Yep. Getty, Gettysburg Address, I saw you oh, in the background. <laughs> you, saw, you saw the envelope, right? <laughs> but in any case, never have I seen the cooperation that we saw between agencies with this. And I mean, we saw pictures of people I know personally who were slogging through the, through the muck and mud up to their waist, ruining uniforms and boots, and falling down dead tired and refusing to leave the woods. Uh, the CERT guys and gals from, from Clinton, the state police, all the other agencies that came in to help. It, it was an amazing feat, which we hope we never see again. But it's nice to know that they're there if we need them. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that, that was the equivalent of when you, when you have two escaped murderers who are serving life sentences with with nothing to lose. It's the equivalent of having an escaped Bengal tiger in the in the woods around here. I mean, they're dangerous people, and uh, our our friends and family. In, in the community, law enforcement community, in the corrections community, and customs, and DEC, and FBI, and 
DA and, and police agencies and everybody, they put themselves in harm's way for us to uh, keep us uh, safe and they did a, did a fantastic job. I doubt if there are many people watching this, certainly who are residents or even, even uh, summer residents of the North Country who don't know somebody or have a relative who was directly oh, or indirectly involved in this Absolutely, whole thing. absolutely. And I can certainly tell you that this, uh, uh, this event put, uh, put the uh, North Country on the, on the map. I uh, know where Katyville is oh, now, yeah. don't they, huh? I, uh, I, uh, I went to a uh, Chevrolet dealer meeting in Las Vegas a few weeks ago while all this is going on. And uh, when I was asked where I'm from, I said I'm about 15 miles away from where the inmates escaped. And oh, I know where you are. So every everybody in the country was focused on on this, and and uh, um, it was a it was a national event, and we uh, we showed the we showed the the country and the world that uh, you know our our enforcement agencies are uh, top notch. And it didn't take very long for that great heart that I call the North Country uh, opened up. And people began to show their appreciation with putting blue ribbons and various other ribbons on their property and letting their friends and relatives and people they never met before know how much they appreciated that. Oh, because sure. Because these things were happening in people's front and backyards, right? Yeah. Oh. All over the North Country, oh, all I back know. roads that are very less traveled yeah. these days than before were very, very heavily traveled. Oh, we absolutely. We saw all the roadblocks set up. Yeah. We, a few of our employees live... Uh, very close to uh, the prison, sure. and you know there was a couple of days they weren't able to even make it in because they weren't sure they were going to be able to get get back to their homes. And uh, but I think the times of adversity in this community, this uh, this is what really separates our community from I think the rest of the country. You know we have a uh, we have a very tight group of people here that uh, um, in tough times this community snaps together and becomes a very cohesive. I mean, we saw it uh, back in 1998 with the, uh, the ice storm, uh, the uh, floodings that have happened. The, anytime there's adversity, the, the North Country rallies. And uh, I think that's, that's it's a testament and it, it kind of explains why, you know, people, people may leave here to go live someplace else, but majority of people that I know that do that end up coming back here because they find out that the grass is greener here and uh, this is really a really a good place to live. We've always called it quality of life. I'm not sure if your dad invented that phrase but we sure did bat it around a little bit back when when the BRAC Commission was thinking uh, about closing our base for the first time and it did the second time yeah. but uh, this community always got together. I, We'll never forget those conversations I had with your dad, who had such a close relationship with a former Air Force base. Yeah. My point is, a lot of the people that were stationed here came back here. Oh, once yeah. they got out of the service, once the base closed, once they retired, they wanted to buy a house on the lake. Sure. Guess what? Yeah, Plattsburgh's always been, in the Air Force, this was always a preferred installation to be uh, assigned to and you know but again it's the it's the community it's everybody it's people like yourselves and and calvin and and uh uh you know everybody you know we 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 uh we know how to uh we know how to take care of each other in uh in a tough time in ways that's hard to explain so i hope that people viewing this are beginning to get a little insight into how the north country works yeah. i hear music in the background what else have you got a little we, uh, we have uh, uh, law enforcement uh, agencies, uh, people from uh, the local, all the local police municipalities, the, the uh, uh, state police, the sheriff's department, uh, DC, FBI, uh, the uh, uh, Clinton County District Attorney's Office, a um, number of representatives coming in to uh, uh, meet with the public and, and uh, we've got uh, we got food drinks uh, free we've got a uh, uh, bouncy house for the kids and some events going on face painting uh, some live remotes uh, from different radio and TV stations uh, we've got a whole number of uh, uh, giveaways <laughs> a, whole, a, whole, uh, 
number of giveaways, uh, donations made by local uh, uh, businesses to uh, the drawings are for the uh, law enforcement agents, uh, um, corrections agents, and, and people that uh, people that were there that protected and served. Just another chapter of the story, a chapter we're proud to chronicle and archive on Hometown Cable. Brian, thanks so much for all you've done in this community. Gordy, thank you very much. Thank you and Calvin. It's a great day the... in the sunshine. Yes, it is. Beautiful day. See you later, Brian. Bye.